And then, of course, all the Nazis just ended up hanging out. There. Ruin everything. Yeah, they're just, yeah, they're just like, God damn, fucking. Like, Hello, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> We're going live. Welcome Let's to Let's do it. Yeah, we should just do <laughs> it. On that note, episode 84 of the Pendragon yeah. campaign. Um, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, right? Uh, we were having a really good talk beforehand. I, I kind of want I wish you guys could hear this this talk, but honestly, I also kind of like to savor it with ourselves. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what we're going to be doing with the Pendragon footnotes. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, that's what do. yeah. The... Speaking of announcements, yeah, that's still in development. Um, that is, yeah. It's, it's... once January. It's not like January. It's not even over. Yeah. Literally, literally, me and Emma like just need to sit down at some point, and neither of us can get it in. No, there's no yeah, right yeah, now. no. We've yeah, we haven't. We, we have not had a chance to shoot a video this year, uh, which is like yeah. one of the yeah. which is how it's been for us. So yeah, it, it's yeah. it's winter, and winter is always the fucking worst. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys that's, snowed in? That, that's what <laughs> by the way, the fantasy. That's it's the like, fantasy of Pendragon. It makes the winter yeah. phase interesting. It makes the winter phase interesting. It really does. Like I, I'm, I'm like yesterday. Uh, uh, my son and I are up the uh, upstairs. He's in the second room, and we're like looking out one of the windows, and I realized, oh shit, I forgot to put the second pane of glass in. It's got the screen from summer, and literally the entire inside of the window is like a quarter inch of ice. Yep. Inside, like interior of the house, just like. Put those blinds down, put the curtains down. I now understand why people slept with bed curtains in three layers of clothes under seven blankets with a fire going. Um, it's been like below zero most of the week. This oh, week. yeah, it's, yeah. Did you, it's did you get the grindy. nor'easter? Did you get the nor are you away from the nor'easter? We, we didn't get any of the the, the bad stuff. We kind of we yeah. kind of get like just the wind and everything, but, yeah. Um, it sucks though. Yeah, I, I haven't have a, sat in front of my sad lamp today, so yeah. I have an uh, aunt in Maine uh, who has uh, who's dealing with it right now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a family in Connecticut who are like, yeah, three feet of snow yep. yesterday. <laughs> like, oh, that sucks. It's just really cold here. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> I grew up in Central Texas. <laughs> it's completely but it's good. Anyways, I'm glad yeah. to be. Uh, I'm glad we, it gets me in a pin dragon mindset. You're right, Colin. It definitely does. All right. Because, um, yeah. All right. So we we we're, we're going to start off going to the tournament. Remember from last session, uh, Rodgar and Acewin, um are right. Gawain came down to Salisbury, um, and he's current still in exile because I know we didn't uh, just trying to do a quick little recap. He's self imposed because of the um, his cousin Yvain getting kicked out of of court by Arthur uh, as a soft exile. Gawain's exiling himself. Uh, and you all are joining him because he said it, he met some people and they were having a little tournament and it would be really fun to hang out. Right. Uh, so imagine, imagine like you all are on the road, right? Uh, you're not at the Forest of Roy yet. It's a little bit of a trek, right? And Gawain's kind of telling the story of sort of his experiences going forth. I think your characters might have already heard it, but we're going to kind of, I'm going to expose a little bit uh, for for our sake, uh, you know. So imagine kind of just Gawain, um, like in just a chipper, cheery mood, um, recanting uh, or uh, retelling, you know. So there I was, you know, Yvain's writhing on the ground after Morhard uh, on her unhorsed him. Morhard being the the giant Irish guy, by the way, uh, you know, he and he's looking at me frantically, just yelling some Irish garbly nonsense, and like, look. As Northerners, you know, we're, I, we're proud of our accents, but I, I, you know, I just could not understand a lick of what he's shouting. Uh, so I'm squaring him down. Uh, you know, he's the size of your brother, Rodgar. You know, he's just, or, uh, yeah, uh, step, what do you say, stepbrother? No, I just say brother. You just say brother. Uh, and, he, and he's just yelling through his helmet uh, something like, I'll, I'll make you into mutton. And I'm like, wow, you are the beast that these damsels said you were. You know, you're, you are a ha true hater. Uh, and it's going to bring me a great pleasure to kick your ass, right? As as he squares down, and you know we go toe to toe. This guy's literally again; he's as big as your step, bro. Uh, he is. He has a nasty swing, a lot of reach. But you know, I get in there, I dodge the first one, I grapple him, we I bring him to the ground, you know, and his helmet pops off. And as I'm choking him out, you know, he said, you know what he says? 
get this. He says he didn't hate women, not I'll make you into mutton. So I let him go. Turns out the, the, the freaking Danzel is a sorceress and is trying to use my own chivalry against me. Wild, dudes. <laughs> How do you want to react to his story? It's like, I imagine this is like an intro to a Seinfeld bit where you guys are just on horseback and he's, and like Kramer just comes in. Yeah. It's launching in. Uh, well, I, uh, you, was she, she was a source. There was a sorceress. I missed that part. Yeah. There's uh, some damn damsel in a tower is like yelling about there's a shield hanging up and the owner of that shield hates oh, women. Yeah, yeah. Turns mm. out it's this Irish guy that lives near yeah. him. You know, they are having a little bit of a feud because he won't be bewitched by him. He's already, be this lady has bewitched some other knights and they were fighting. And of course I side with these knights because I know them and I know this Irish guy, say la vie. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. just like. Well, what, what happened then? Yeah. So anyways, uh, Moron and I become buddies, man. He's, he just, he's like, no problem. Look, it happens all the time. <laughs> Acewin, like, as when Hrothgar asks what happened, then Acewin just shoots him a look like, it'd be, we were almost done this fucking story. <laughs> so he invites me no, to the No, Hrothgar's like, no, this is Wayne. This guy, like, saved the kingdom. You know, like, <laughs> like, what, and what, yeah, what happened then? That sounds fucking awesome, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. I think maybe Rodgers a little starstruck because yeah. he's a little like a little uh, 2.4K uh, Gloria Lobby yeah. getting a tag along. <laughs> real That's, Lobby alone. Yeah. That's actually incredibly yeah. true. So you're just mopping this up. We know Ace Marshall like, Ace win of 11,000 Glories. Like, okay, uh, yeah. Like then, I've before. heard this story. I've killed a giant. It's fine. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this is this is nothing. I've been in a championship situation. I understand the pressure, right? <laughs> like, yeah. like you are you are uh, exactly. But yeah, to Rodgard is like, what the <laughs> what is going on? Wow. This is yeah. right. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, Moro and I become best friends. He invites me and Yvain. Uh, you know, we make up. We we hang out in his lodge uh, for for about a week or so. Uh, just, you know, just to recover. And so, anyways, like we're crashing in his lodge, and I go try to get some water, and I wind up finding these three damsels at a fountain. Uh, you know, the eldest ones, like, like my grandmother's age, you know, with a garland of gold in their head, uh, you know, TR, uh, the middle aged ones, like, about, you know, my mom's age and has like a, t a golden tiara. And then there's the younger one, uh, with a garland of flowers. I'm like, Hey, what are you doing out here? Right. What do you, this is a weird place to, to meet. And they're like, Oh, well, you know, we were just kind of expecting to meet three knights over here. It's like, well, I got two other knights. Hang on ladies. I'll be right back. And so I bring out my, my, my two friends here. And they're all like, well, we kind of need to be accompanied somewhere. Uh, it's not a good, not a safe place. Uh, we've heard there's a lot of uh, trickery and sorcery and uh, ne'er-do-wells about. Well, like, that's that's true. Um, perhaps one of us should escort one of you and kind of one for one. And you can be our sort of a uh, warden. We could protect you. And they're like, yeah, that sounds grand. I'm like, okay. Uh, and then we get to the question, like, who's going to pick what? And, you know, Yvain, you know what he said? This lad speaks up first and he goes, I want the oldest one because she has the wisdom and experience and I'm the youngest. And he's looking at you like, do you believe Yvain saying this or is he like just an absolute lad taking one for the team? How do you, how do you guys uh, take this story when he says yeah, this part? Gorthrin would definitely your be like, face? oh yeah, that tracks Gorthrin. Yeah, oh yeah. But Prodgar, I don't know. Like, at, like, Gort, like Gwen's kind of like, can you believe this guy? He's not. He doesn't really like. This wasn't an honest expression. Is basically oh, yeah. what Gwen's saying, right? Like, he's, he, he, you're not that, sure. Okay. I, you know, I, Prodgar then is sort of like, I, you know, maybe, perhaps. Um, it doesn't seem relevant. Relevant. No, that's what I'm. No, dude, what I'm saying. And Acewin, what are you? What are you? Are you digging it? Acewin's like no Gwen's reputation. Thing, yeah, Acewin's thing is like the selection of one's wife often depends on on qualities that are not widely appreciated. My own wife is notoriously lazy, for example, a quality which is not 
greatly valued in most domestic spheres. But... See, yeah. And, and he he thanks you when you bring up your wife like that, because that was actually his intention. I was trying to do a little swindly woo and you're not sure how he was going with it. But he's bringing it full circle when he goes, thank you, Ace Wind. Yes, your wife. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Look, you're a round table knight. You get it. Like, there is value in, in being selfless there. That's what my uncle was missing. And, and like when he brings up like throwing shade on Arthur, his horse kind of like bucks a little bit. And he's like, hey, hey, shoot. So there, 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 Gringo. Like, you're like, there, shh, it's okay. You know, we're family. We're cool. Uh, and he's like, this is my, the king really messed up with him. That's all I'm trying to show. Like, this guy's selfless. He's, he's awesome. Yes, yes, yeah. Roger, not, this is really going over Rodgar's head, I think, because yeah. the intrigues of court and the round table are, are not for those yeah. who sit is, below the salt. This is, this is very inside baseball <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. For, the, for the Knights of Court. Yeah, stuff yeah. About, um, yeah. He's just, he's like, I just like, I like jousting, and that's yeah. why I'm here, my brother yeah. said too. Um, Ace was like, I, I was speaking with Karen about the fallibility of even the king, like sort of pointedly referencing her yeah. other not wife that is definitely a wife. But you called her not your wife, called her just her name. Yeah. Yes. My good friend and sometimes roommate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he laughs. He's like, yeah. Man. See, yeah, how do uh, he's like, why, how do you end up settling down and having like multiple people love you, man? I can't even get a single one. Uh, Ace Wind like initially gets like a little is like, I don't know what you mean. I'm married to one woman, but yeah, but how do you even get one a... person to love you and marry you? Like, you he's. Gawain is very emotional, is like what I'm trying yeah. to convey here, that he is oh. very moody, and now he's in, he's clearly off the high of his story and getting into no one loves me territory, okay? If, <laughs> yes. if, he, if he's starting to talk about love, that's yeah. different because yeah. uh, Rodgard knows a yeah. considerable amount about uh, love uh, for his, his so, Miller's uh, yeah. daughter, So Elry. Inadvertently, Elry. the story has come along to that part where, yeah, he's like, man... I wish I was lucky in that. I mean, I can lay with anyone, but I just, I, can, I can't settle down. When you say can't. I can't or won't. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I want to, I, I should, but I just, I don't know. I, I've, I've this tried, is I tried asking situation. to God and I, I don't hear anything. I don't know what to do. Do I just pick I someone? think there's there's some mistakes. Many people have help. Hey, <laughs> hey, <Ed. laughs> okay. Hey, uh, there's some there's a sometimes mistake people make. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. Okay, take three. Uh, there's a sometimes mistake that people make with love that that it's difficult, and uh, certainly the course to love may be difficult. The course to the practical expressions of love may be difficult, but love itself is you find someone and choose. Choose to love them. Choose to express the full contents of one's heart. And you may say, how does one do that? How do I? You choose. Yeah, I just, I just wish it was you easy want... as fighting. Yeah, well... Is it not? <laughs> like, it's, it's like, yeah, fighting's praised like real easy, obviously. Yeah, yeah but Tim, look. Isn't it? Oh, look, man, I think I'm cursed. It's not that easy. Anyone I think that I might love or, or have a chance with, you know, I like end up killing someone, ruining someone else's lives. They're coming after me or my, my uncle. Uh, it's just, it's, it doesn't, it's not easy. Like, I don't know what I do. Right. So uh, there's a, a knight in Salisbury uh, you may look to uh, named uh, Sir Downey uh, of Roundway. Uh, and the course of his love life is the absolute template for what you shouldn't do. And I would 
I suggest you examine his life with some great detail on that matter. I cannot find people who... Amazing. Like, Karadgar is just like <laughs> his high chaste, high yeah. love, like just effortless uh, uh, fulfillment in this area. It's like you don't find people who will accept you and your advent adventurous nature. Hmm. And he's just like he's just trying. He's trying yeah. to figure out how how Gwen works. How this legendary yeah. hero. Yeah. Uh, is uh, uh, how he works. Yeah, and well, Gawain, like Gawain, I'm, I don't remember the stories offhand, but just imagine yeah. Gawain's life is littered with stories of him like falling in love with someone, they're married, didn't know, they got in a yeah. fight, you know, like like he's yeah. sworn mm -hmm. to like always espouse women and like protect women, but it always ends up like literally biting him in the ass is like basically most of Gawain's stories. Mm -hmm. And and so like this is why he's like I just want to settle down and but anytime I do it's like how is this so complicated <laughs> and and uh, he's like I I'm cursed and so that's why you're like I don't know just <laughs> just be good at it forehead <laughs> and and that's yeah okay no I'm I'm glad you're giving relationship advice to a, a prominent yeah, yeah. Arthurian yeah hopefully you all yeah, uh, yeah. can appreciate my portrayal of Gawain I like mm. Wayne. Wayne okay. is turning into a real favorite of mine because he's just a he's conflicted. Always, conflicted. always been, yeah. always been one of mine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's why I keep bringing him back for it. So yeah. okay, yeah. great. All right, cool. Uh, otherwise, I know because I, I focus on him a lot, but like obviously, there's a bunch of other people I could with like Kay and and Urians and a million other people. But sure. yeah, nah, okay. No, Gwen's immersed is a nice. So. Okay, for sure. All right, he's like, well, you know this. <sighs> We should probably be stopping soon. Um, listen, I know a guy, uh, Cawdor, um He's a little, but um, you know, it's got a nice, it's got a nice castle. And we'll make, we'll make uh, to the, you know, to a Roy, uh, you know, tomorrow, and be ready for jousting the following day. How's that sound, y'all? Sounds great. Yeah. Um, Gawain gives you a sort of a preface here of like, listen, uh, Sir Carter lost about half his sons at the Battle of Baden Hill, and mm. he's a little sensitive about, you know, he kind of holds a grudge, kind of blames Arthur. Mm. So just be careful. Acewin takes yeah. off the, uh, the Baden Hill uh, hat that <laughs> yeah. she was wearing, puts it away. Um, okay. That's good to know. It would it would be some like Gawain would have to be staying with people who don't necessarily love the king. Exactly, and that's yeah. that's the part that you I'm trying to insinuate here. Um, yeah, you're probably which means you're gonna remember the part about the fairy and not having to kind of lie but not lie. Yeah, you know, you might end up in a similar situation. So, the, the, right. We're headed to the same forest right? where Roy yeah. is the same. Uh, yeah, kind of. Where, uh, yeah, where we entered the uh, the elf wood. Yeah. Oops. Yep. Oops. Yeah. Just so you know. Right. Oops. Uh, this is this is this is not a uh, Hotabank though. The castle, Hotabank, the castle, that okay. other castle, the one in the uh, Gwen and the Green Knight. This is a different one. So don't worry. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, no, Hot Desert. Yeah. Ha oh, sorry. Hot Desert. No, what was, what was I saying? Yeah. I was. I, was, I combined Hot Desert and Montebank in my head for some reason, which like yeah. Montebank is. I just think of the cloak of the Montebank that lets you teleport. Yeah. Teleport. <laughs> I have no idea what no, Montebank means, either, but it's so in my you head. You don't even have to spend that short rest. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you have. Of course, you have that memorized, man. Of course, I mean, of course my brain is like gonna file that away for later. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, being being a game masters. All right. Uh, yeah. So, um, so anyways, you get treated at a, a nice castle. Uh, you know, you see the, you know, I, we just going to like smash cut to your horses being taken care of and all that kind of stuff. Um, you got your shields on the wall. Like you see like the various shields on the wall for representing his kids. And you see that like, you know, there's 13 of them and seven of them are, are, are like kept like really nice. And then six of them are like moved to a different part of the wall. And like memoriam and it's kind of you know like it kind of hits so this is very important to him um you know he's not he's not married uh and so anyways he's like just like kind of ripping into uh you know a, a, a haunch of lamb or whatever uh and he and he's like there you kind of imagine why this sort of started here and uh, he looks to you he's like well i've heard of you i, I know you Gwen, and 
Ace Win, I've heard of you through Gawain, and you're you're all right, but this one over here, and he you know uses the the lamb leg, you know, uh, the, the the shank, and points it over here at, at Rodgar. It's like you, tell me a story of yourself here, Salisbury Knight. Tell me so I might know you. I'm called Rodgar the Blessed. My first year of life, there was a plague. My sister, who was a year older, came down with it and barely survived. And I have never been sick in my life, ever. My older brother's Gorthran, Lord of Tilshead. You probably know him, and I serve him loyally. Oh, yeah. But what I've, if you want to know me Arthur. well, loves Arthur's wife a lot, doesn't he? He is fond of the queen in a yeah. way that um, I, I don't think that Rodgar is, has a passion for for Gwen, but yeah. um, but has, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, if you want to know me well, my wife is a miller's daughter. I love her more than anything, more than my honor, more than my brothers and sisters. I would do anything for her. And I think he just leaves it at that. Like, Rodgar's the third, he's yeah. like the fourth child of, of Erwin. Like, he, you know, he knows that he's I, yeah. lucky and, you know, that's I about it. <laughs> I love that this dude just asked you for a story about it. And everything you claim about yourself is like nothing you can actually take credit for. <laughs> yeah, it's just like these things that have happened and whatever. Like, what he does all day is joust. Uh, yeah. he's, he's got a 20 in Lance. Yeah. Um, but yeah. he's he care, he loves his wife and um just like he's lucky. Yeah. And uh I think I think your your stories about love uh move him to like borderline tears where he's like, That's beautiful. I I love my family as well. And you know, it's like see. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Hold on to them. He's like, like says like, a, like an order, like, like, a, like, you know, like a battlefield command. He's like, like, like yeah, a yeah. dead, you know, very loud, very curt, very like, hold on to them. You never know when they'll be taken. Is he like, Dwayne, Dwayne like looks to Ace when like the highs. You guys are eating with his other like living sons, by the way, or, you know, they're yeah, around. Yeah. So it's not just, yeah. you all. Know, I'll uh, toast to that. Yeah. Yeah. My squire walks in with a t-shirt that says, I survived Baden Hill, and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. And Ace was like, no. Yeah. Oh, Roger has one on his horse. Yeah. Actually, speaking of squires, yes. who is mine? Um, so I totally forgot to do that for you all. Yeah. Yeah, this would have been the year. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we talked about it, and I said I was going to do it, and I failed yeah. at that commitment. Okay. Um, do you want me just to assign you ones, or did you want him to make it a, a political statement of who you brought on? Uh, I, mean, I, I mean, retroactively yeah. make these political. That's we're, fair. We're, we're, yeah, we're, yeah like be political. Unfortunately, yeah. it's got to be sort of got to be political for the fucking Marshall of Salisbury. Yep. All right. Uh, you're training one of Bagon's kids then. Uh, okay. is, uh, it doesn't matter. This whoever, is easy. Whoever is assigned to him. Uh, there, there's Gwegon of Vagon. So that's pretty easy. Vega, I love that name. Gwegon of Vagon, yeah. Or Gwegon, yeah. Uh, so they are, this is the first year with them, so they're 15. Yeah. Um, already out of the gate. Th these are his um, trend. I, I'm, I'm going to say that as a 15 year old, the, this, is, this is what his projected life path is. Uh, and feel free to <laughs> modify that. Okay, as as no, you that's are. great. Why would I modify that? That's fantastic. Okay, lovely. And then uh, it's big oh, himbo energy. Yeah. That's... Okay. Uh, here's yours, Gorthrin. All right, sorry, not Gorth. Well, this is not Gorth. Now this, this is gonna be Hrogar Squire. Screw yeah, it. Yeah, Hrogar. We can work out Gorthrin. So uh, Gorthrin is taking on a second Squire yeah. as well. He'll pay for that out of pocket. I don't. I don't know what um what house he's from. Stand by. Let me figure yeah. out. I have. I have a random holding one. I got Stonehenge. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, so yeah. that makes this even better because uh, you get him, and he is pious and arbitrary. So he is deeply, which kind of made. I mean, like for Cholderton, like 
it kind of does make sense. But like, this, is, yeah. are you? Did you ever command? Like, I forgot about this. Did did you command Rodgar to convert, or is he still kind of allowed to do what he wants? I assume Rodgar was British Christian because uh, yeah. the Lady Grade was, and uh, okay, um, that's what I. That's, that's how I had always uh, assumed. Right. So then, Cadwallon is extremely um, pagan. Okay. He's from Stonehenge, extremely pagan. What, is, he, what does he think pious about it? Okay. So spiritual, right. sorry, pious is the old term, spiritual is the... Right, yeah, yeah. This was, gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm using a list of random dudes from um, the old editions. Nice. Um, I'm curious that, uh, yeah. if he knows about the Lost Stone, but probably not yet. Uh, oh, absolutely. No, he absolutely does. But, oh, he does? Like, okay. I mean, he... I would love it if the Lady of the Lake personally asked you to take care of this guy. I mean, that's fine with me. Yeah. I could be like, who, who is this? Like, yeah. Uh, but yeah, events continue to surround Gorthrin, uh, and Hrodgar is just run along for the ride. Well, I'm trying to like, you know, it's like I'm I'm making a a croissant. I'm trying to I'm trying to fold this this these buttery uh, layers back in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and we can do. Gorthrin's I will. I'm, later. Yeah, I will. I will tie this into here. Yeah, and I'll figure out what Gorthrin's is at a different time as well. Cool. Thanks for that. But mm -hmm. uh, in general, those are the, that's where uh, Quadwallon's trending to pious and arbitrary. So feel free to uh, try to instill lessons either to enforce that or change that. Right. And what's the name of the guy's house the, or the manor that we're at now? Because he's uh, was another Cade. Yeah, Cade Wooden. Godor. Godor. Technically, he is the Earl of the South Marches. Um, that's what, um, what's his name? Uh, the guy who wrote the books. I can't remember his name. George R.R. R. Merlin. I yeah, yeah, literally yeah. cannot tell you his name. Martin. I like Martin. think it's Martin. No, what's his name? Le, I mean, Le Mort, Le, who wrote Lamort Arthur? Oh, Mallory. Uh, Mallory, Mallory, Mallory. Yeah, I was, Mallory. That's why I couldn't remember. So like, there's an M. I just sorry. Uh, I was about to be like Jeffrey of Monmouth. Yeah, like well, <laughs> no, to be fair, like that's friend. isn't that the other guy? They wrote the other ones. Yeah, the other guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The no, venerable Christian Mead. De Troyes. Yeah. <laughs> I, Chris Christian de Troyes is one of those names I've read so many times reading Arthuriana, but I don't think I've ever heard it out loud, so I have no idea. How close I am to pronouncing it right? Is it Troyes, Troyes? Like how how French are you supposed to go with it? I mean, yeah, we we have Welsh fans in our audience who listen to us pronounce these names. Okay, I'm so, so I feel like I am French very sorry. francophones <laughs> francophones give us give us the the same leeway, <laughs> please. Yeah, any any uh, yeah any native Welsh speakers, I am I I do apologize. Yeah, yeah. awesome, <laughs> but I can't. I apologize it. for nothing. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies are for cowards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So we're we're at the we're, we're at the castle of Sir Cador, uh, Godor, and um, yeah. yeah. So anyway, so he asks you about a story for your, of yourself, yeah. and you just yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he's like, okay, yeah, sure. He's um, like, Krogar's like, yeah, like, they could die anytime. He yeah, sees the uh, he sees the shields on the wall. So we so we're gonna we're gonna cheer for a second, and now I would love. Uh, for if we just do a quick little like you know just draw draw round, a couple one cards. round feast yeah yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. Little we'll one round thing. feast let's see what kind of cards that happen here let's do it yeah 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 as some flavor events don't expect to get any glory for this you're just not this like a dude who kind of hates Arthur is that the, is that the deck stay, this is the feast oh. deck oh my it's god I've deck. never seen it in physical yeah you can get it from the whatever the drive through yeah. cards is they'll oh, do these amazing. and so this is the yeah amazing. That, is, All that right. is awesome I'm gonna have to get those for myself too yeah. I just was like I want it as a physical thing <laughs> yeah definitely yeah. uh so I'm drawing my usual four three four yeah yeah just, just yeah I'm gonna just let's just see what we get as a little flavor thing Okay. We may have to adjust a little bit of uh, what we get to fit the context, but it's probably fine. Like, okay. there's not going to be yeah. like, you're not going to be king of the bean. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Time to share. No. Nope. Uh, Quarrelsome just... knights, just for arbitrary, I like that. That would uh, make insult sense. to a lady. Also interesting. That would be one and, of his sons. Uh, meet, yeah. Meet That's the it. host. All right. Oh, you got the host. All right. Uh, Part of your poissant. 
What does that even mean? Your your luster, your stories, legends, uh, reputation. Uh, is uh, skill. Skill. Okay. Oh yeah, of course. You're asking about a skill. Which there is a manual. Of. Choose your best skill. Okay. What is my best skill? I think that will change if it's, if it's comp. Yeah. If it's if it's a combat skill, is definitely battle. No, he would if love no. Non- yeah. Okay. It's if it's non combat, it's intrigue or courtesy is actually my highest stat. It's tied with intrigue at 15. Honestly, um, I leave it up to you. Do you want to talk about, to, would you talk about battles and stuff like that with this guy? Or would you? Y- <laughs> yes. And here's why. Uh, okay. I've been marshal for a while. I've, I've not gotten to like do the marshal thing of like leading, yeah. <laughs> leading the, the, the people. So uh, I think so. the chance to talk shop about yeah. like battle stuff. Yeah. So hmm. Gawain tells me you're marshal of Salisbury. As he's that like is correct. Eating As some peas. was my father. Uh, he t- taught me everything uh, I know, and yeah. uh, I've done my best to further the instruction. Yeah. Great man, your father. Can't say I've he had the was. pleasure of meeting him, but I know by reputation. We fought in many well, battles sh- together. She'll meet him in the hereafter, no doubt. Yeah. He, um, no doubt. He died as he lived, holding to some secret. <laughs> Just slightly more secretive than everyone would have preferred. (laughs) But, uh, and I think she's going to like segue that into her analysis of some of her father's old battles and like things he could have done. Like talking about like, uh, was it Baden Hill where I had that disastrous couple of of roles uh, for the, the skirmishing. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Talk about bad and hill, my guy. <laughs> Colin, Ace with his ruinous. Of course, if we just would have thrown your more more of your children into the meat grinder, we would. Yeah, would, yeah. Like, in, I, you all know. Oh god, that's in, that's what it is. She, yeah. she's like you know the she's, um oh no the real the real genius of Arthur at Bad and Hill was uh the the willingness to um. Spend his night's lives uh, well is is the uh, 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 did I say Baden Hill? I meant he slams Brandon's Hill. Different battle entirely. <laughs> I don't think any of your people were there. Uh, no, mine. I wasn't there. I wouldn't. I don't know anything about it. Actually, I Baden Hill. It's so slams his is hand on the head. desk. You know, and like <laughs> you immediately stop. Right. And you just hear the the crackling fireplace for a minute as the silence just holds as he's like, you know, red in the face, not sure if he's going to cry or cut off your head, you know. You make a fool of yourself. You may not play any host cards for the remainder of the feast. Yeah, that that. Yeah. And it's also a failure. So, right, a fumble yeah. is a failure, which means I also am going to lose ten clues of this. Yeah, uh, Gawain can not believe that you brought it up he's like i literally you know what i mean he's just doing this thing i was like it's like being yeah it's like being told not to think about pink elephants it's like oh shit yeah now that's all i can think about (laughs) like inside we're drinking it's been a long day of writing and uh rodgar has his card of you unexpectedly pass wind while the host or an, un- or an important guest is speaking. Um, so during all of this, Haradgar has a just lets loose. Has some <laughs> roaring flatulence. The, the punctuation right. to my faux pas. <laughs> yep, rolling. I get so. Uh, Eric's uh, like you hear the crackling fire. It's like and then and then and then the, then the bomb drops. Called trumpet. Right. Yeah. yeah, here we go. Not a fumble. Don't a have fumble. to leave to change clothes, so that's good. <laughs> I that cannot believe that's an, out- an actual yep. card. That's an outcome. Yes. That's could have been, but um, everybody around me disapproves, yep. and I get my yeah. stooge. Trying, trying to have a melancholic. <laughs> you almost beer. shitting yourself is worse than me bringing up his dead kids. I know. It's just a, It's a yeah. It's it, it's a. Our theory. Well, we were talking about Chaucer earlier, so. I'm so glad yeah. we're here to like represent Arthur's interests. <laughs> well, I've been disrespected enough this evening. 
Eve is excellent. I will. I am a kind host, and I will continue to let you all stay the night. And this is like him almost like quiver, like quivering, quivering, quivering. Uh, as he says this to you all, you know what I mean? Like he's like doing everything he can to not just unleash into berserk rage right now. Yeah. And he says, I regret offering you all lodging, but please rest easy and enjoy my hospitality. For tomorrow morning, I will demand that you face me and my sons in combat. And he stands up and his sons also stand up with him. He's going to let you all hang out at the table. And Gawain is just going to be looking at you all being like, are you serious right now? <laughs> like, Gawain's just going to sip on his goblet until one of you two say something. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty high you know I mean? uh, goes first, so... Um. Gawain's like, now I gotta go kill this guy. Like, I, I just want... I just I thought we him? were... <laughs> this literally feels like a sign photo. But... <laughs> surely... Surely to the, to the blood tomorrow... Do you do you think Gwen to the blood? I warned you about this guy, dude. I warned you. I freaking warned you about this guy. We got to talking about pleasant subjects that I forgot about the unpleasant ones. No, I don't even under. I don't uh, even understand how that makes sense. No, you the just. The wine is strong. Now he's going. Now he's probably desperate to meet your your own dad in the after. You just wrote, what is going? Oh no! Like how you were saying earlier, uh, going about the un unlucky in love, perhaps. S same with uh, hospitality. That's I all Harad Gar's got. I do take my that. embarrassment is unmentionably large a, f a family prides itself in hospitality and, and i pride myself in a keen sense of justice and in both regards i've failed utterly i shall be praying tonight for some clarity and wisdom to resolve tomorrow without tragedy and this one's going to be like like finish she's going to finish her goblet of wine and then is is gonna like go to bed to try and think this one out. Yeah, you all are gonna fight. As far as the terms, yeah, it's to the death. Yeah. Now, you know, once actually blood and stuff is spilled, you know that's not that yields mm. tend to you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but emotions are very high. Um, again, this is a little bit of my riff on taking more of the um, melodramatic parts of the nights, mm -hmm. uh, but also like, yeah, also grief. So like this guy and <laughs> he is extremely upset about this and is going to spend the rest of his family using you to get back at Arthur and your transgressions. All right. Okay. I mean that's that yeah. tracks is are they are we outnumbered like oh yeah yeah like, it's him and his, and the seven sons like seven or seven so it's eight, three, three, of three. Us. yeah uh what about our squires i mean do you want your squires to fight with you my 15 year old you squire want... is not fighting that's true there are 15. they were older maybe uh but yeah maybe. yeah no if they're, if they're 15 and they don't they don't three. uh they're, they're just gonna get killed get it in the yeah. way all right okay um all right so the morning comes right like the night is, yeah you guys you can eat breakfast and it's you yeah. know what i mean it's like whenever you guys are ready mm -hmm. it's just yeah. before you leave we're going to fight we're gonna fight sure because he's a hospitable person yeah gotcha yeah, yeah. um I, I think Rodgar is thinking this like this is like those stories that he's heard from like his brother Gwen. like this will work out it was a really yeah. awkward checkout experience. It's yeah. of this Airbnb. Yeah. 
I'm I'm um, curious what Ace was doing because yeah, do you, do I think you, there's a way out of I think there's a way where it doesn't have to be to the death, and I think it's like does yeah they're like yeah we're outnumbered, but is one more like he he the first thing he said was like don't let any you know like hold on to them protect them like I think that's the angle of like his uh, more of his kids could go we could die, it could yeah. get back at Arthur, but is it is it worth? risking one of his kid's life i mean i really like the idea it's like yeah depending on the strategy and stuff like that Gawain would be like i can i can provide i can cover who how many people you need you know you guys figure out whatever the strategy you want to do you know i can i can support mm -hmm. you know i can take on four you guys can take on two whatever you need you know sure, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 so the thing that's running through <laughs> running through Aston's mind Right, and, and I'm trying to approach it from this perspective of justice. Um, yeah. Uh, this idea of there's a, an expected equity between slight and satisfaction. Yeah. And so the question is whether Acewin can make the argument that the, 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 the satisfaction here does not match the slight. Um, that's tough to say because this is emotional and not really yeah. logos or just to this guy right right and that's the thing is I'm approaching it from yeah. a different context and so that it might just be futile to do that um, yeah I wouldn't give yeah, you this, a this is, strong this effect is on a, that approach this is an offense born out of the pain that a high love passion that's denied. Yeah, rings, exactly. I mean, right. Like these, yeah. are, these are pie passions. It's nice because we get the bonus, yeah. but they're also how our characters get hurt. Yeah. You know, I, and, I mean, if if someone brought up Acewin's dead kid, uh, Acewin probably going to be reacting very similarly. Yeah, yeah, and I I think it's like he like the Lord. You know, he's we there was a faux pas, little little, little uh, flatulence. Uh, bad, bad dinner, bad vibes, but like it touched on this deeper thing. And I think if we could appeal to that, it'd just be like, we see this, like, this is clearly about this thing. You love your family. Uh, There's yes. got to be a better way to, to ease that pain than, than more fighting. We're, yes. that, we're yes. supposed to be done with this. Okay. I just, it struck me. Um, Ace Wins kid died to plague. She just died. She was just taken yeah. from her. Um, his kids died in battle, not just in battle, in one of the most glorious battles of the boy king's reign, right? The capstone to kicking the Saxons out of Logris. And he's this pain for him runs deep, but maybe Aishwin can make the argument that, like, uh, the, the, like they, they, these are good deaths. Like, these are deaths that he can be proud of, right? That the whatever pain he feels can be tempered with the inordinate amount of good that they served in life that you know it was not a senseless death and the faux pas was because there was it from aceman's perspective absolutely no shame to having died in battle like what what a good death for a knight to have uh then the protection right these sacks your sons fighting to, yeah like no one wants their sons to die, yeah. but when you teach your sons oh, nice. these values and they yeah. act on these values, like that they they acted on the they lived up to the fullest potentials of the values that he taught them, right. and that is a good thing even with the pain. I think that's going to be the tact that she's going to take yeah. in the morrow. That's pretty um, just, right? And it and it's also a low key apology because it's like. Well, I didn't mean to speak of them as if they weren't important when I said that Arthur spent their lives well. Like that, like that was what got him, right? Like in the yeah. fiction. I think it's yeah. a low key, like my bad on that too. Yeah. It's the I think it's I think it's pretty plausible. I think it's me too. I think I think that's an avenue to to resolution, um, for sure. But it's gonna require you to not roll a twenty. That's so. With the dice. There, hey. There's a 50 50 chance. 
yeah. <laughs> as, as how I see true. it, right? <laughs> when I have a 19 skill, it's a 50 50 chance of fumbling, <laughs> just historically. Yeah. Like Terry Pratchett says, uh, one in a million chances tend to happen one in 10 times. It's a. Uh... Well, um, yeah. You can you can paint this. I imagine you know, like they're just gonna do it in like their uh like kind of in front of the keep and the stables that kind of common area. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. and they're gonna pack up your horses. Like even if you like they killed you, like it's still gonna be polite and stuff like that. Like you're ready to go if you yeah. you know what I mean. Like everything about Absolutely. it is it's like yeah here you go squires you know refilled your water skins everything's done they're good yeah, they right gotta be perfect otherwise they break hospitality. <laughs> yeah so so everything here is taken care of mm -hmm. no uh, yeah so um you know there it's very it's a very tense you know the it's the the tension is palpable in the air of this uh late summer morning uh late morning Gawain's got his right. sword, you know, Gawain's kind of got his sword out, you know, as Squire has finished putting on his pauldrons and stuff like that. And now he's kind of like, you know, swords, like doing like, you know, little exercises ready to like, I guess um, we're doing this, you know, and like you see other people kind of stretching out too, being like, this is okay. Yeah, Ace Win is going to like um, huddle with, with Rod, Rodgar and uh, Gawain and be like, yeah. How many can each of you handle? Because I want to try and have a one-on-one -on -one with Godor. Uh, if that's not possible, that's fine. But if I get the right. if I can get a one-on-one, -on -one, then I can speak to him one-on-one -on -one while being like one hundred percent on the defensive. I think I can hold him off and do that and and yeah. negotiate this down. Uh, I think I can take five. Uh, that kid over there on the left got a slightly. Um bad leg uh the other guy's left-handed might be a little bit of a toss-up so four or five for me can you take one like he looks over <laughs> to yeah, right, 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 right. like are we like are, are we gonna be like are we gonna be tilting first we're gonna be jousting first no. or we're just straight melee swords straight swords uh swords yeah um, he, he acts like he's like you've never done this before you've never pissed <laughs> off a host <laughs> <laughs> to fight him. Yeah. Okay. No, I, and right. he was a kid through all the no. anarchy, so he's never been. That's not got our horses bloody that one no, one like, time. It's no point getting our horses into it. This is, a, this is a fair amount. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, Rodgar's light on his feet. He's got uh, fourteen decks. Not a bad sword. Yeah. I can take two if I'm not trying to kill them. Do you want me to ask about a land situation? I could. They're probably a, they've been accommodating so no, far. No, no, no. Okay, no, this will be fine. Is that how you want to die? Like, 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 like this no, is no, a very just, like, strange like, conversation. Literally, he's just like, I, I, he, yeah. you know, I, I just, you know, people on the road occasionally. Okay. You know, for sure. But this is for fun, you know, not. Yeah, it just happens <clears throat> all the time. A bunch of just, a bunch of just randoms just showing up asking for, anyways, that's, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah. If we survive, you might want me you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but he uh, Rogar's assuming that we're about to fight yeah. and that is so the yeah. the plan is to talk while we're fighting or like beforehand i think dramatically uh, I mean, while while sword to yeah, sword yeah while fighting i don't know that we're going to chance to you know, parlay before this okay uh, right. yeah godor is going to pump himself up uh you know Let's calling out to the passions about you know basically his hatred of arthur and his love of family mm -hmm. um you know and that you know, he's, he's he's definitely throwing it at Gawain's feet, being like, you know, I thought we were friends. You left your 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 uncle. You brought these two here, and then look, you just made a mess of my place, insulted my family and my boys, my sweet sons, and f for this transgression. You know, he draws his sword, he kisses it, looks at his keep, looks to his boys. Ace wins gonna come out. salute him, yeah. square up uh, uh with with Godor. Yeah. Uh yeah. I think uh I'm going to call on Love of Family because that is the that is the vector I'm trying to connect with him on. Sure. But don't roll a fucking twenty. God. Incredible, dude. 
fucking killing <laughs> me. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I just want a normal episode. I would love one of those too. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be normal. I that'd be wanted great. to get. Yeah, I I wanted to avoid this. <laughs> Smash cut to Gorthrin just hanging around Sarah. Just like, guys want to go hunting? I'm like, pop over to Camelot, see what's going on over there. <laughs> Failure. I lose Fuck. one point of passion. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, melancholy is affected. It takes effect after the activity. Yeah. So I don't take any You're not mad at penalties. Me, right? No. Here's oh, my... shit. It's a fumble. Hold on. Fumble, madness, lose one point of passion. Yep. Madness, yep. Goes mad and is out of play. Player must turn the character sheet over to the game master. I gain 100 glory. Cool. Good session, y'all. That's, that is wild. Almost, I gotta stop fucking saying it. Almost every time no. I'm like, I literally say, "Don't roll yeah. a 20, I, I invariable. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. So I actually do need. I need a little bit of help. I. You know what I mean. I'm. Yeah. I, I pride myself yeah, on being a decent GM, but sometimes even I get stumped here for a second. Uh, part of me thinks that you know you just do the Aragorn for Frodo and just kind of charge ahead. Like 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 this gets twisted into like rage fighting. Alternatively. Uh, well, hold on. Yeah, because I was thinking of this earlier. Yeah, give me give me an idea. Um, we've established the Knight of Black Waters as like this Batman persona that uh, Ace Wind has used before. Yeah. Um, what if she's overwhelmed by the the thought that she could be bringing this real stain to the family name? If if it both if she dies here and if she kills the host, um, and so. It appears that she has fled in the night. But she actually attends as the Knight of Black Water. So she's still there, but it is definitely not as Ace Wind, like hel like full helms, different livery, and she's there and says, I am standing in for, for Ace Wind. Like just just foregoing so the kind of personal yeah. responsibility of the of the thing because she's trying to preserve this sense of family honor or something Her, so okay um i think that like that that would like what does that what does that do with her reputation with like gwen and others like it, this will get back at some point about ace when like do we know like I guess Frogger knows that Ace Wind and the Knight of Black Waters are the same. But does Gwen like do you like do, if you come back, do we know where you do you like try to keep your identity secret? I, I think try to keep it secret. Um look get yeah, because like again, the idea is like to be like, I'm not gonna kill the host, I'm not gonna die here. Right. My yeah, family yeah. means too much to me. Uh, yeah. It, look, um I love the I, I look uh, Arthurian stuff is like full of the Clark Kent put on glasses. Who are you? You know what I mean? So this is fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. as, as far as I'm concerned. Um, the dice have delivered two doozies. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing that I'm trying to think of then is you would fight in their stead, but like you're, you're basically disassociating. Uh, so like you're not melancholic when you fight because no, you're, you're like I, a different I, person. I think she th she is now completely a, like the Knight of Blackwater. She she yeah. doesn't is not thinking of herself as Ace Wind anymore. She's like, nope, I'm a I'm a different knight. That there we go. I don't have to worry about the family name. I'm a different knight. I am not me. I'm a different person. I like that your character has had to develop an alternative personality to justify the way the dice have fucking gone for you. <laughs> like. It works. It feels magical. It feels like, uh, you know, this is big emotions, big stakes. And yep. yeah, you, you don't, you're the Marshal of Seltzer. You don't want to die in this podunk thing to just because you were drunk and 
<laughs> misspoke to this overly emotional guy who can't just be yeah. like, oops, my bad. I'm really sorry about that. Can we just like apologize and move on? In, yep. In the, the, this is something I was talking to someone about recently um, in regards to Guy One of the Green Knight. Uh, there's a really good essay that talks about the medieval virtues, not as two opposites of the end of the spectrum, where one side is the vice and the other side is the virtue, but the virtue is, in fact, the mediation of two vices, one on the other side of the other. So, for example, right. hospitality is uh, the midpoint between boorishness and obsequiousness. And, uh, and here, she's ca caught herself in this bind where she cannot be in the middle but she doesn't want to be on either side. So she's taken a third option and just been like, I just won't be me. There we go. Yeah. Problem solved. Problem solved. Problem love it. In and the medieval praxis, it's totally insane. Like it's just, just I can't go to one end, I can't go to the other, and I'm certainly not in the middle. I'll just be someone else. There we go. Somehow that fucking solves it. It fits. Yeah. Yep. It's it uh cuts right through that Gordian knot. Rodgar is uh, not going to die here. He's got a wife he wants to get back to. Um, I don't know. So Acewin left, and someone else has shown up. This, this, I, I hope Acewin's okay. But Rodgar is, sees that Gwen is taking it seriously. Um, the Knight of the Black Waters uh, is here, and he's just going to make sure. There we go. His his love of his wife is that's really all he's thinking about now, and I think it fits with the rest. Everybody's just very emotional. Yeah. So I think I think there's an exchange then with the Knight of Black Waters and the host being like, you know, I, I mean, how do you offer hospitality? How do you show up in a dude's house as someone else? You know what I mean? But I guess you would say, uh, I am a hospitable person, Knight of the Black Waters. And while we have not been introduced, I'd be willing to offer you hospitality. And not fight. For I do not know you, and my quarrel is not with you. You do not know me. Ace is Ace of like you hey, have a voice. Um, <laughs> you do not know me. It's who you are that defines you. But I, I stand in for Acewin. What hospitality you offered them, I accept. And if you quarrel with them, then it is with me that you shall quarrel. For I am sworn by great love for that noble Michael. Yes. <laughs> oh, brave knight, it is them who I quarrel with, and therefore I quarrel with you. Let's draw steel. Okay. You merely adopted the hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> Do Thank you, you feel our spirit? No <laughs> Does that give you power? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um. So the game plan is still the same, right? Yeah. All right. Gwen's going to take on four or five, and uh, Rogar's going to take on one. And provide space for the Knight of Black Waters to take on the Duke. And the goal here is uh, to get them to yield, right? Yep. Yep. Yield or be satisfied, one way or the other. Okay. I'm going to use my GM fiat powers here to say that Gawain can hold off five knights as you guys fight. Yep. Right. Uh, you're, you're going. You're going. Yep. Um, Let's do it. Let me just see. I mean, I mean, to be fair, I need to call on a passion for this guy for his love of family. So there's a very likely chance that. That's Give me awesome. a twenty. Give me the twenty. Fuck you. Give me the twenty. No, he crits God it. Damn it. Damn <laughs> oh, he crits it. He literally crits it. He's got plus ten. Oh, shit. Well, dude. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sometimes, sometimes you really do be like that, like three, five percent chances uh, independently. Um, this is that's a one out of four hundred times twenty. One out of eight thousand. I love a d twenty. That's a that's a conjunction of yeah. One mm -hmm. out of eight, one out of eight thousand. Yeah, Queen Morgan's hand at work clearly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Honestly. From her 
a crystal ball. Okay. Like her palant, you're going like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am looking up. Yeah, so he has plus ten. I'm looking. This. I'm looking up the rules for extended like combat. I know at some point it starts to get tiring, and I think that that depends on constitution. So I think that might be the plan. It's just to fight defensively until this motherfucker gets tired. Roger's plan is to make one of them yield and then start taking pressure off uh, Gawain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably good. All right. All right, this one's going against Rodgar. These guys aren't particularly strong or reputable knights. So, well, you're going to probably crush that guy. Yeah, you do. That's not that good of a roll. Uh, it, it was, it, it, I added, uh, it looks like it added five instead of an extra five D six. Five plus, yeah, it did five plus five. It D6. just added five extra oh, just, damage just, instead of, um, of uh, five d six. Just re-roll. Just yeah, just roll it manually. I don't know. She she must be busted. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's that. There's twenty three. That's five d six, and then another twenty one. So there you go. Forty two. Forty two. Um. Forty two. Let's see. This man's constitution is eighteen. Or stamina. Uh, that's going to be HP is thirty three. So that means real bad. <laughs> uh, I believe armor is eighteen with shield 18, at this yeah. point right now. Yeah. So forty two minus eighteen is what twenty six. No, twenty two. Uh, that's well below. Uh, mortal wound territory. Mm -hmm. um, that's also yeah. above his dexterity and stuff. Like he cannot make that test. He is going to absolutely fall down. The only question is whether or not he, with the remaining hit points, if he doesn't just like get owned. Yeah. Um, constitution eighteen. So you have to you have to roll under your. No, it's it's under your hit points. Your current hit points, right? I believe so. To stay conscious. Yeah. To say that's the role. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Is the question after a mortal wound, a uh, major wound, whether or not you remain conscious, and so that's under his hit points. You take twenty-two damage. He is thirty-three hit points, which means an eleven. Rolling under eleven, he passes. All right. So, uh, yeah. So Haradgar, uh, this guy comes at you. You can t clearly tell uh, he's nervous. Uh, you know, is like a, the youngest guy. He, like, pretty much Gwen gave you like the easiest guy to fight. Yeah, yeah, you know, like the yeah, easiest son. I'm, listen, the layup son. Gotta be taken care of too before yeah, the boss can go down. Right. You gotta yeah, get exactly. rid of the minions first. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, <laughs> so you're taking on the ads. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, and I'm yeah, as soon as I connect and I see the hit, I'm gonna yell for him to yield. Yeah, I, he immediately drops his sword and is like, <laughs> and he's just on the ground. You know what I mean? Just like holding his stomach. It was like, oh god. Yeah, I want this guy yeah. to see his kids bleed out on the ground. Yeah. Like, yeah, we'll see and how he feels. So anyways, uh, filled uh, with filled with rage and fury, uh, Ace Wind. <laughs> Are you ready for this? He's yeah. rolling. He's rolling D20 plus 10. Yep. <sighs> you could do and you're doing the total defense thing, right? Yeah, I'm doing total defense. Well, uh, right. he did actually did not crit on you. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, so you actually beat him. Yes. Impassioned. Um, you will take back what you said about my sons as you like. He's like comes at you and is like, and you parry it and repost right into him. From what I understand, that his wins that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Um. No, but uh. And this is they should fight their is... own battle, kind of thing, right? As he's. As he comes at you. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> um, I think, but Ace Wind is going to try, as through the Night of Black yeah. Orders, to still make the similar argument that was intended. It's just yeah. now no longer coming from her. Yeah. Um, but she she's going to be like, uh, 
there's nothing to take back, only things more to say. Um, and she's going to lay into this idea that, like, your sons died. That's that's a fact. But they died well. They died nobly and they died admirably. Um, yeah. And yeah. if possible, the Night of the Black Waters is going to try to invoke them by name. Right? Like, I don't know that Acewin would have known at the feast, but I think she could have asked afterwards the names of these sons that had died at Baden. Um, yeah, and I mean, you also were in the castle, and he probably brought up the names at some points for you to recall. Right. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't need you to make a recognize role or whatever to make that thing. Okay. I think I think the fact that you just came up with that idea sounds killer. Cool. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, I'm basically going to roll a d20 plus 10 to it, and you're going to yeah. try to beat it. Okay. With with a plus uh, five, I'll give you a plus five to the for the approach. Oh, we're just but, comparing um, nice results. This yeah. is not a trait. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, it could be a modifier if it the plus five adds to like maybe you're. I don't know. Uh, what would this be like? You're just. Uh, what are you trying to use? Yeah, like, I mean that that's what I was trying to invoke is like the idea that like the there was justice to their death. There was like an equity between the values yeah. of their life and the values espoused yeah. in so, their death. So we're off the mechanical map here, but I like the idea of let's use your just stat and add five to it. And that's basically like a skill roll and whether or not you can okay. essentially use just to snap him out of his. Okay. Uh, and that, you know what I mean? Yeah, that works for me. So that means I'm essentially rolling, trying to roll under 21. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, he's in range. Never. Got it. Yeah. So he's not going to be reasoned with. You're going to have to deal with him violently to be reasoned with. You're gonna have to subdue him. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. With a with such a resounding rebuttal of a maximum roll, uh, I think then you know your only option is to, I mean, straight up kill him. But if you still want to try to make this as less violent as possible you have to still subdue him and plead for him to not have his sons die and stuff like that you know what i mean like that's probably yeah, yeah, yeah. That would, to me right now that seems like the only outcome and that's something you would probably would have gleamed from this failure <sighs> yep okay okay all right uh, Gordon, I'm gonna look up. Gordon, you're gonna go join or uh rodgar's gonna go join uh gawain yeah he's gonna like take a second because this is going on next to gawain's got five he's gonna just uh you know get the yield make sure that that's actually happening um and he wants to circle so that Gwen sees him he's like get, and yeah. the others see him he doesn't want to like come up behind somebody's back um but he want he was going to stand um with Gwen because whatever's going on with the host and ace when i'm he doesn't want to get involved with that yet sure all right um how many how many are you gonna take on? He's gonna to continue to do what he's doing. He's gonna just one at a time. Uh he's not Feel him a, off. he's not a famous knight. He's yeah. just a work a day lunch pail. All right. Uh and if he can knock out another, then the, then they and, no longer outnumber two to one. All right. There's four sons. Uh one would be the most proficient going down to four, which would be the least proficient. Let's just see which one breaks yep. off to you fight. Three. Okay, it's the middling one. All right. So you're going against someone with an eighteen. Okay. Uh, it's not too bad. Just it's one of those things where, like, that Gawain, you know, uh, it's one of the, impossible. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, you know, Gawain's kind of not like zoroing it up, but you know, the idea of like fighting off these people, uh, like multiple opponents, the one that slips past his draw that you end up taking and ends up being this guy. Right? This is uh, what I rolled did not include my passion bonus. Um, for okay. whatever reason. So it's well, it seems nice. like the sheet a dice rolling API is completely goofed. So just switch to manual. Okay. Um, and just yeah, add yeah. add the numbers. Okay. So that's like a D20 plus what? You're a 26, or so like a plus six for the roll? Yeah. Just straight up, just roll a D20 plus six. Yeah, so you can't fail, but also, we can see if you can create it or not. 
Nice rolling command. Oh, yeah. Space is in. Oh, that didn't do it ever. I did find the rules for fatigue. Uh, you fight. You can fight for a number of combat rounds equal to your con without penalty. So uh, once you get past that, it's a minus five penalty, which would mean I need to wait like 15 rounds or something before he gets tired. Uh, and then I'd only have like six rounds myself with the minus five penalty on my side, and then I would also get fatigued. So I don't know the viability of that that approach anymore. Be brutal. Yep. All right. Uh, brutal. Uh, another brutal blow by Rodgar. Showing. I mean, you're not you're not finding the most legendary knights of the realm here, but you're certainly no slouch. Yeah. That. That's. Yeah. I mean. We're, yeah. yeah. Uh, and a similar thing. So the yeah. the damage is still. And on that there's yeah. twenty plus. Another one, yeah, twenty-three. That's like the same thing. Uh, I think it's gonna be this guy. Uh, let's see, this one has twenty-nine max, which means it's even less, which means it's a nine, or actually it was even lower than that. But a two is still gonna pass. So he's also not unconscious, but absolutely. Uh, two. All right, two of their sons are down. I think we could argue if you want to plead that if you wanted to invoke um, the use of I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think of this guy as a dad seeing his son's fall in battle, you know, against you all, whether or not that could kind of like be used yeah, be as touched, a yeah. cause this to snap him out of it. Yeah. You know, I, being like, yeah. look at your sons, they're dying for nothing kind of thing, right? Like, you don't have to do this. I feel like there's there's an angle there, but I don't know how to. Uh, if you even want. Maybe mod modesty versus pride, right? Because essentially, this yeah. again this slight that he is taken is not yeah. is is over his pride in his sons yeah. he believes his sons have been dishonored in some way and for oh, yeah. him to then sacrifice his own sons for but, that yeah. well i yeah and again like his qualm is obviously aggravated by you all but it runs deeper to arthur right yeah and so he he he's, feels resolute especially after the last kind of rolled a snap amount of it where he's like, I would rather my line be dead than serve under the yoke of such a heartless king. You know? Yep. And that's where he's at right now. Oh, fuck. I don't want to have to kill this guy. This guy might need to die and it, you know, his sons will live. Yeah, it's fine. It won't turn into a feud. <laughs> it's These things never do. I mean... God, that would suck, but that would be so narratively interesting. Is also the thing. Yeah, I might, I might want to kill this. Like out of character, I think I want to kill this guy and start a feud. <laughs> <laughs> like a little, little, little bag of mine is like, what if you just kill him? It's like, then that's a feud that'll go on for years. Could great. follow his kids. It'll be fun. Yeah, great <laughs> tournament. Yeah, yeah, good stuff for tournament. But yeah, you got ah you got, fuck. Okay, channel, channel. You, you got go. six contestants. All right, all right. Yeah. Roll for angry McDad face. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not essential. I'm not really particularly interested in having a battle go 18 rounds or whatever to convince this yeah. fella. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Uh, I would, I would, I would like to skip to a part where we can see whether or not that does work and whether you ha you kill him or not. I, I, I want to see that for sure. Yeah. Um, let's but I, let's do it. Let's let's uh, keep swinging. That's a crit. Okay. And I got no modifiers to sword. Yeah. I think it's not a yeah. crit. I think bringing him down to a major wound would certainly um, make him rethink his life. I mean, the way I roll, that's just not going to happen. I'm yeah. more likely to lose Ace when. Oh, I can. I don't have to do five d six twice. I can just do ten d six. Oop. Third nine. Uh, my minus eighteen. Minus eighteen. Yep. It's twenty one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is exactly a major wound so 34 minus 21 13 all right let's resolve all this shit. <laughs> so you get an unconsciousness check with yeah. all that stuff Yep, so I got to roll 13 or lower to stay conscious. I mean, assuming you are, uh, you're still alive or still up, 
Um, he will ask, obviously follow up with an ask of a yield. Yep. Uh, so I'm still up. Uh, hold on. And I need to now roll 5-3 attributes lost, mm -hmm. which I, believe I it's have a, earmarked. It's 2d6, and then in, then it's like a... it's a If you get like a 7 uh, or a 9 at 0, it's the tails that give you a lot of losses, and then you roll a d6 on those. Isn't something like no, that? it's it's five point three is attributes loss. Um, I skip in if you're doing normal aging, you roll to see how many are affected. But with a major wound, you just see whether or not. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's immediately like um shock where you just go right to the right to the roll. Exactly. Cool. One Ooh, size size. Ooh. Okay. I think that's what. I think that's one of the first that Gareth ever got. I think that's the. I think that's what led to his infamous limp was a loss of size. It was either size or dex. I forget. If so, there's some I remember, wonderful, yeah, poetry going on there. Horrible, horrible poetry. Uh, and then the final thing I have to do is test Valorous. So I will absolutely yield if I fail Valorous. Nope. Cool. So sword, Not sword to you, right? Yield. No. God, does this mean that I'm fighting? All right. Then you're fighting from the ground. Uh, no, I have to roll to see if I fall over. Right? So oh, I yeah, dexterity. I kind of assume you automatically fail because it's like you, you, you took more damage than your dexterity. So but that, I think that's, that's horses. I don't think that's yeah. true. Yeah. Okay. All right. Another round of swords. All right. Uh, and uh, what does Gawain do? Gawain's, yeah. No one's facing me. I will assist. I will assist the Knight of Blackwaters. I think, I think seeing, I think we're going to have to have a roll off between Gawain and you. Because I think uh, Gawain's going to probably command you, Rogard. You know, hold these sons. Let me get, take care of this person because that's just the type of person Gawain is. Right? If he says, if it's if he says it, that's one thing. But if oh. it's just instinct or whatever, then yeah. I'm happy to roll off. I think I'd rather roll off because it would be interesting for you as not a knight of the round table to like possibly demonstrate that sort of virtue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. And so let's let's test uh, energetic, right? All right. This is not something uh, Gawain's good for. Is this something that the passion would apply to? No, no, because uh, no. no. these these are these are just genuine general traits. The just thing yeah. was special because we, as I said, where it was. Um, anyways, we got success. fails. Yeah, so I think I think Gawain probably has the idea, but it, obviously fighting three people doesn't get the chance. Yeah. And yeah. you know, and um, turns and sees that that Rodgar's already yeah made the pivot. Rodgar, yeah. Come over here. Let me. Help. Oh, what do you do? And yeah, he sees in. Yeah, R Rogar is going to go up and join. Yeah. All right. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So he's right. finding the both of us. Find the both of you. Uh, his stat then is thirty. Um, I think they're going to go. 20 against Gorthrin and 10 against Aeswin. Or I keep sorry, I'm I'm gonna keep you know what I mean. It's Rodgar. gonna happen. Yeah, Rodgar. Yeah. All right. It's gonna happen. So 20 against Rodgar, because this is the more important one. So can I beat a nine? I beat a nine. Yes, you can. Um when you split, wait, when you split, do you still get the plus ten? To each so roll. You 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 split the combat value and then any bonuses get added on top of that right as written i think which which is oh it makes it so makes it was a 20. passions okay. and stuff very very, that makes it very dumb, yeah yeah all right uh no you're right because that's i just realized i'm rolling that well i split it wrong well then i mean it's still going to be a crit then that, that would be a crit against you because it's plus 10. Um, and if he splits it, because I was thinking I I added the plus 10 to the 20, which is why I was like, yeah, it's that it's not he wouldn't want all 20 to one person and nothing to the other. Well, yeah, yeah. no, if yeah, you did you that, would you would you would you just roll 10 
Hold on. Theoretically, if you went 20 and 0 and you get a plus 10 modifier to each roll, would you be rolling a plus 10 against the second person where there's originally a 0? Yeah. Oh, well then Presumably. that's what they were that's what they were doing. They, okay. I'm sure I can look up the actual rules for splitting, but um, All right. that, that just means they're rolling under a 10 against uh you, Ace one. Yeah. But okay. Uh, let me roll damage. Uh this is a crit. Yep. Uh 10d6, not 10d5. 35 is pretty hard. Uh, 18. Cool. Uh really afraid oh. I'm going to kill you all about this adventure. <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll see. Okay, so minus 18 makes it... Uh, 35 minus 18 is 17, which is, oof, one more than my major wound. So take a major wound. Um, Similarly. 17. All right, I'm going to start rolling for Ace Wins number. Fails. They are safe for that one. All right, you get a hit. You hit him. Heart's not really in it. Apparently, uh, they don't get to count their shield uh, to this, right? Jesus Christ! I've inherited your rolling. This sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Eight, uh, and then what? I'm rolling under my. Are you, you're standing. Current. Yeah. Um, yeah, you do have to roll under your current hit points to stay remain conscious. I think I think the order of operations is you need to roll consciousness before you roll. Do you, are you standing? <laughs> it's been a while since I've taken a major wound. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. So first you roll to see if you go unconscious. Okay. Then you roll to see if you stay standing. Then you roll valor. Then you roll attribute loss, and then you roll valorous. Here it goes. Um, so I'm rolling under my current hit points of twelve. Oh, so he, so Gorgar, uh goes unconscious at twelve hit points. Jesus, Goddard is a fucking monster. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Not a nasty wound. Right. Um, I'm trying to think how this fight's gonna go. If uh, if we live by the if we live by the dice, we gotta die by the dice. Like, yeah, exactly. This whole situation has been a spiral of results. So if we now fiat away from that, I think. Yeah, no, I I agree with you. Um, no, I'm just thinking. I'm thinking right now. What would be a fair way to adjudicate? Because I haven't been rolling for Gawain. No. So I'm trying to think. What would be the fair way to adjudicate how Gawain is handling and faring against those knights? Uh, um, probably just a d6 and like. <laughs> just like kind of just see how it, how it goes on a six he's doing well and a one is not doing well right and let's just use that that gamut yep okay uh so he's still locked in with the three of them so basically the question was whether or not can Gwen uh maybe possibly get to your all's aid to help you a fight because he can see what's going on but no he's locked in uh bong solo 88 i've just yeah. recently caught up from youtube and y'all have always added the passion bonus and then split all points between two opponents yeah we just which is true yeah. But I did look it up, and it says any mounted bonus is added after, but it doesn't specify if that's all bonuses. It actually doesn't specify. So I don't, I mm. truly don't know which way to do it. Rules are what we remember, not what the text exactly. says. Uh, so exactly. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I mean, sure. I just, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I'm not trying. The only... I will admit I totally tried to bend the rules for the just thing, kind of basically modeling the snap out of it features of the mm -hmm. of the fiction and what we're doing there, which I thought was pretty OK. But yeah, absolutely. The idea here of, of how passion should work, I should know that. And unfortunately, we all we all have read the book and technically we're all uh, or at least want to run Pendragon at this point that we should probably know this. But, um, you know, here we are 80 something episodes in and we still can't get that right sometimes. No, I I got I. I see. I remember actually looking this so, up before. Um, the mount, language yeah. of in passions is that you you modify the combat skill, and combat skill is what gets split according to the rule book. There, but the and mounted, so, but the mounted, mounted charge bonus, doesn't. it's a mounted bonus, and so any the fact that they're still like plus fives, plus tens, and we treat them the same, the book doesn't, okay, or implicitly doesn't. So. All right, there we go. Um, then, do we want to roll back uh, 
Rodgar's injury. That's what this ultimately comes back to. And so I leave it up to you. It's your, you're all the players. I can go either way here. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, either, I'm, but, I'm fine rolling it back. Uh, yeah, especially because we could just look back at the rolls yeah, and see yeah. what would have happened. I, yeah, I don't, I don't care about it. Retcon's fine. Okay. Keep the game, keep yeah, the game for sure, moving for sure. smoothly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, no worries. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Yep. So, yeah. Prince of Persia, Sand of Time. And yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The all magic right. of, uh, of Wondrous Britain. Yeah. Um, Okay, so okay, so it's a <laughs> Morgan just, loses reception in the in the crystal orb mm-hmm. and taps it exactly. twice, and we go back to the moment because there were, there was a delay in the in the time stream. Stops licking her toe and just what are yeah. you doing? Oh shit, lost concentration. Damn it. Okay, right, um, <laughs> so um, let's it's go just back to hit, that. Hit, so it's a hit then. Right? Yeah, so, so, so it's a standard hit, hit. hit. So let me just roll the five d six instead of the ten. So, so just just so ignore the thirty five points of damage for Rygar, and I'm just going to straight up just real do that. Yeah, uh, watch. He's gonna roll thirty. Oh, oh my god! god. I have to stop talking. I just stop talking, talk. Colin. Anytime stop. the dice Colin, are gonna you're willing the world into existence. <laughs> I mean, I have world. never, I have never rolled this well in my entire life of playing mouse yeah, guard and rolling d sixes. Awesome. Okay, I, uh, we need to go back to you trying to take Edinburgh. That's the that yeah. is the vulgaris rolling I would prefer. That is, I, I, you 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 weren't even part of that game. I don't know why you're allowed to. <laughs> don't use that against me. That's not no, I, I, pl- I play here. I stand every Wednesday now, so I'm I part know. of the the tradition, the continuum. Of, I know. Oh, okay, of I know the mythology of this yeah. bullshit. You may, you may. I don't, I don't recognize you as part of the. <laughs> the, the I don't recognize you in the, in the UN as a formal country of our here. I stand meta. <laughs> here, I love. I, I, I tease. I, I of course, uh, I, I love it. And yeah, here, here I stand. Um, <sighs> all right. So you take 10 instead. You stand. Uh, here I stand. Here you stand. Yeah. He sees all his right. life flash before his eyes. Yeah. All right. Shit. So uh, the other question about whether or not uh, Gawain's handling the other knights, he's not taking any hits or anything like that because he's in Gawain, but he's certainly just occupied, right? Yeah. Uh, some some straight up, uh, what's, his, what's it called? Errol Flynn, like, you know, fighting. Yeah. Fighting these guys, uh, mm-hmm. kicks a barrel uh, and like knocks one over uh, as he parries two. Yeah, try to get it, get them yeah. each other's way. Yeah, all right. He, yeah. All right, roll for uh, roll for Papa, so I can roll against him. Yeah. So again, he has thirty, so twenty and ten. Uh, same targets. Yep. I just roll a d twenty for Rodgar eleven. And for Ace Win, crits. Why wouldn't why wouldn't he crit? Why wouldn't he crit? Oh, he's, oh, Jay, great against you. Fuck. So, um, Gorthrin, or you keep doing it, Eric. Why? You got a lot going Rodgar. on. Right. All right, so. Let's talk about the order of operations of before I roll the damage. Of so it's like does does a does a Rotgar like kind of get in the way, and like why it's a crit or is it is this like a re, you retaliate after Ace Wind takes the hit or like how do you think this plays in, out in the fiction in your head? Like uh, given so that uh, Raw was on a conversation earlier, uh, the highest glory resolves first. So I think it's like Ace when gets hit or yeah. Knight of Black Waters does and then All that right. leaves an opening for Rodgar. 10d6. Right. Mediocre That's roll. the worst. That's uh, I mean, still up. I mean, minus 18. You're still, still probably down. Yeah, how much? You don't, you don't have 34. 33 minus. Uh, how much is? 30, you got, you passed the attack so it's 18 subtracted from 33, yeah. which is 15. 15 fuck uh, so close to being up still mm. uh but i'm i'm down i'm dying was there yeah. two yeah uh two major wounds right or is it, yep. I, yeah uh no that mm. second one was not a major wound oh nice oh yeah 15 yeah. damage okay yeah the threshold was what 18 for you 16 21 20. oh okay <laughs> never mind <laughs> all right yeah oh yeah that's right you max those stat I, you Ace one has a higher con and strength yeah. than Gorthrin. Yeah, this was yep. uh this was Colin's right. strategy. Uh they they had a they had a plan for Ace one. 
panning out. Okay. I mean, not exactly panning out, but, <laughs> but also, uh, okay. So, yeah, Ace Wind falls. Gorthrin, um, you succeed. Yeah. 22 damage there. Uh, that's six. Uh, not even close to being hurt, so I don't even have to make a dexterity roll or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to hit. I'm going to add a one to this d6 roll for uh, Gawain's progress. If it's a six, then he's available. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep escalating it till it's at least a six. Nope. Still, still fighting these uh, these knights over here. Keep uh, buying you space. Yeah. Um. So, see the thing is that Gawain. Gawain doesn't have that much of a, an affiliation with the Knight of the Black Water, so it's not going to be like he's going to shout out or anything like that. Uh, yeah. um, I think he's going to just probably shout that into Rodgar, which really just means like, you know, what's going on. Okay. So, yeah, so Gawain's calling for a... <laughs> like, um, yeah. Basically, just as a wad, all you can sh get out is between um, fighting uh, these three knights is like just a rod guard. Like I am unable to help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's uh, that's that is clear. The marshal, right. uh, you know your your dad or your brother's best friend. Yeah, um, no, yeah. Uh, Rodgar's not leaving uh, Ace One's uh, side. Yeah, but I think like two of his are down. I think this is where Hrodgar makes his bid to be like, surely justice is satisfied. Like, surely we, you know, this is, this is enough. Do you want to yield? Do you want to throw your sword down and yield? Is he coming at me? Absolutely. We're, we're still going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Um. Kind of. I'm wounded. He's wounded. He's got two kids wounded. We've got one down. Yeah. I think he's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna see if he'll accept the yield. Of course, yeah. That's what Haradgar's gonna do. Okay. Um. I don't know whether or not this is. I mean, this is probably not Haradgar's thing, but I think I want to talk about a consequence here. And something that probably as players we should talk about is that mm -hmm. this reflects really poorly on Arthur. This basically means that this guy is in rebellion against Arthur. Yeah, and, that's what it would mean. Right. And basically this means that as representatives of Arthur, like would Arthur yield to this guy? And that's sort of, you know, you're fighting not just yourselves, but as representatives of him. Yeah. So that's was part of the duel, right? You know. Well, hold on. I think that I think that's dra dramatically reframing the impetus for the duel. This duel was because Acewin insulted the memory of his kids. To to spin that out, to say that it has now become like a full political rebellion against Arthur, I think I don't I don't see how how that shifts unless it was always about it, that, in which case I think I may have failed to convey that. I thought I was talking about like you got you were the inciting incident and kind of enra enraging them, but he I, I was trying to imply that the, this grief about Arthur is really like the ocean underneath it, and you are the ones that just kind of really aggravated it. Yeah. Is that I, it, I, it tracks I, it it tracks it, to me somewhat. I think for Hrodgar, his primary concern is less about Arthur's reputation or whatever, and just like this person I know, like I know the Knight of my, Black Waters, I know who's under that yes. helm. I'm not like it's a it's personal for for Hrodgar. I don't think he's thinking about the king. Okay, so at then this point. right. So, okay, so I guess then if if I want to walk that back, I, I think I think they're going to certainly feel emboldened about their yeah, grief yeah. with uh gripes with Arthur. Then yeah. I, I'm, yeah. let's, I'm thinking about what are the consequences to yielding, right? Like it, I must, yes, I'm going yeah. to assume that he's going to let the thing yield and maybe like, I feel like I have to roll to see what Gwen does, but um, the other question then would be, what does that mean for you all? Like you are you, like, is it just, do you lose honor? Like what, like sorry, what, I, is, what is the consequence to you all I, yielding here? Sorry. I, I, I think I, I feel like I need to push back on this yeah. still. No, please. Because I, I love this stuff. We can have, this, we can have conflict. Yeah, yeah. The the idea of a duel. This is this isn't like just a symbolic thing. This is a legal thing. This is yeah. this is 
uh, right. something there's what is he legally there entitled has, to? There, well, there has to be an issue, right? This is yeah. this is a question and it is resolved by the outcome of the duel. So what was the question? Because yeah. as I understood it, the question was, did Acewin act improperly as a guest and uh, say something horribly wrong, right? about these kids the con so that's the issue so if he wins then yes ace win acted improperly and what she said about his kids was wrong yeah right and and so again like it can be informed and girded by these political things by his emotions as a father but the like the duel itself is a specific thing it's a specific sure. mechanism sure. right sure. and so yeah when you say like the consequences like he's in open rebellion it's like no he's he, there's, there's a question being answered and if we know what the question is then we can also figure out what the answer is there may sure. be un, uh, other things that like spin mm, off yeah. of that that are implied by that but like sure you in, know yeah no problem like in my in my mind's eye like the like the starting part of the duel is that this this man harbors no love for for the king Mm -hmm. um you know or pretty much anyone of the round table you have insulted him being affiliates of the round table in the way you treated his hospitality mm -hmm. causing the duel right so the, the question is not does then it's, yeah so it's the, the hospitality question is not question. then the question is not then uh how would we act to represent arthur it's yeah. afterwards Arthur going, why did you act like that? Because yeah. you are my I, right. And I think that I think you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Let me let me scale it back. I love it. I love that you all we can have this kind of yeah, conversation. Yeah, it's worth because sure. the dice right. have delivered a real yeah. doozy yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> of right. some outcomes. Okay, it's and, worth the massaging yeah. to make it work. Yeah, yeah. No, I I love the idea that the answer is that you you are found wrong in the wrong here. Uh, you all are absolutely. Um, bad guess <laughs> yeah and then arthur is going to and the the ramifications and the politics or and just sort of the generalness of your how you behave as knights will be a question for arthur and even the earl to um yeah. deal with yeah. okay yeah let's do that that works for me no rodgar's not gonna get to live on gorthren's dime for free anymore yeah. after he acts like this farting at the dinner table so because the, the uh, other thing that occurs to me is like like with Acewin out right like unconscious and Rodgar's the one yielding, dying. dying. Like Rodgar's the one yielding. This is like a decision that Rodgar's making. In you know, like we could keep fighting. Yeah. If, you know, like we this could be settled. Like you might be dead by the time you bleed out by the time it's done, but so could the host. Um, but Rodgar's like, no, I gotta get Ace went back to a surgeon <laughs> uh ASAP. Yeah. So yeah, he's gonna try to yield. Well. Yeah. I mean, Ace wins fine. It's the Knight of the Black Waters that's in trouble. Right, exactly. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. There's gonna be like the the scene where Hrothgar pulls off the helmet, is like, it's Ace win. What? You're gonna have to. <laughs> um let's see. Okay. Um, I think he's going to, I think, uh, Gawain's going to yield, uh, as well. I think, I think he's going to continue to fight, uh, for like a round essentially against these three as the, and then realize that like, this doesn't mean you beat me. It's kind of what he's going to say to these people yeah, as he yeah, throws yeah. his sword down. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And, uh. Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna have a part three this session because <laughs> this was intense. I did not uh, anticipate uh, this was like this is a fun little fifteen minute adventure. Let's like yeah, see someone yeah. can be repped with grave and can <laughs> uh, can we roll first aid to see if Ace Wind dies? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. yeah. But cool. I'm saying we're not gonna continue after the the short framing mm -hmm. of yeah. this part. Uh, I had a whole tournament roster set up ready to go. <laughs> you know, yeah. and, you know, well, yeah. sometimes it'd be like that. That's fine. Sometimes be like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see who is uh, who's making this roll. Yeah. Want to make I audiences can. laugh? Tell tell your players your plans. Exactly. Right. Okay. Uh, Give me. Um, let's see. First aid. Um, I mean, he is a hospital. Uh, 
oh great oracle i'm gonna say there's a 15 percent chance here uh that one of these people is has at least a 10 in in first aid in 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 his court at least there's a 15 percent chance does that sound reasonable or should i make it 20. what what do you think is reasonable none for? of them do uh, yeah. rodgar has a 10. Oh, okay. I think so then like, I, most chance, of like, to see there's a like a, a monk or surgeon yeah, exactly. or something so, that, so, that, that comes out. Yeah, so let's let's it's a I think there's a fifty percent chance that someone is available within the minutes here that has that is better than um your your ten. Okay. Cool, cool. Is that we we agree that sounds pretty reasonable given the circumstances? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. My God. All right. There is. All right, uh, you know, I honestly would love it if it's the this this Earl himself. The Earl, yeah. That, see that. after winning, he also will treat you, despite hating you. This guy. Because I think that's really point. I, I I I like it. Well, okay. Um, let's see how much better for their first aid is. Uh, let's, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, let's say it's, so it's at least a 10. So I'm gonna roll mm -hmm. a D8 and see how much more it is. Yeah. It's an 18. Okay. Okay. So, uh, they make two first aids, and for each success, I regain 1d4 hit points to each of my wounds. Would you? Right now I have a wound yeah. 21 and a wound 15. Uh, um, so if I don't get healed more than, th uh, two hit points i still die right because you have to be above zero yep uh i feel totally confident and comfortable rolling but if you want this is your character if you want to feel like you want to have the the, the, the control or feel why free to pass it off to someone else why would i want to be responsible for this role this role needs to be good eric <laughs> okay fair enough uh <sighs> I, would, I would be happy to roll uh but Go i wanted to it. give i wanted to give you the um the chance all right, one pass. So one success. That's a D4, right? Yep, D4. All right. So I'm at zero. So I will survive. Regard. Mm, no, they need to pass the second. Yeah, they can fumble. As well. Why did you fucking say anything? God. Why? Because I have no fear. And I'm the one rolling. <sighs> Yellow. Uh, D4 hit points. Five. My God. Oh. Huh. Right. I'm still unconscious uh, for the next week. The Night of the Black Waters can stay at my keep so, as no. long as they need to recover. No more. It's going to be two weeks, actually. <laughs> two yeah. weeks. Right. So I think I think that's going to be like kind of like, uh, you know, they're coming back after bandaging you and suturing and saying that, yeah, you can you can stay here as, until you can walk. Minimum hospitality kind of stuff, right? Yeah. But uh, well, we had a tournament and Well, uh, does he let I'm me? A, like, does yeah, he I'll let me stay when it's revealed? I think because part of it has oh, to yeah. be the reveal that the Night of Black Waters was always Ace Win. You know, I completely forgot about that in this in the scene. Um, or would it be like, okay, they're alive, get them the fuck off my estate? I think they would demand to know when you're awake. But it's going to be two, two weeks. Yeah, you're maddened. So you have to basically explain that you're not while being right. Like how, how do we think this works? I don't know. It, so I'm mad in for one D six plus five days or something. Yeah. Um, which would be less than two weeks. So, True. Well, the question is, am I mad when I wake up or is it, I would be, I would be mad, but I'm unconscious. I think, I think you would be mad, but you're unconscious. Okay, cool. Because it's not like you have a lot of passions to burn out when you are, you know, yep. unconscious. So, and somehow this gives me a hundred glory. <laughs> He's like, just this like fucking game, game, man. You missed yeah. the game. But yeah, my the backup plan would just be like to find like a monastery or something that will take care of, you know, take care oh. of you while Rodgar goes and explains what happened yeah i think i think this is gonna be where we part ways with going who's gonna be like i gotta so, go back like rodgar obviously take care of the night yeah. of the ace win you know like like correcting himself in the, upon mm -hmm. the discovery yeah uh, and yeah. then also like 
find out why Ace Win didn't, you know, you know, as a as a fun like, why did why did why did they do that, you know? But I gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. I also crossed a thousand threshold because of them. <laughs> Task failed successfully. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's wild. It's fucking wild. <laughs> That's literally like just like collapsing over the finish line. You know, it's it's that bridge game where like the whole bridge is like falling apart, but the car still like gets across at the end. <laughs> yep, yep. In amazing, amazing. Wow. Yeah, I don't even know what to fucking boost right now. <laughs> well, okay. It's uh, my last year to boost attributes, right? Because we're 34, 35, 34. yeah, so this is the last yeah. year, so I'm going to boost Dex, I guess. Yeah, you can't do the size. Right. Remarkable. It's, it's, what the yeah. fuck is this game? What was this session? This was a very bizarre... Yeah, it, was, it, it, it um... I, the passions are, are are really fun in that sense because it's like every time I read one of these stories, it's just like, what are these? What is going on mm -hmm. here? Yeah. Right? Like, and so it just it does like oh, you know the slip of the tongue. This guy's like, no, we're dueling yeah. to the death at dawn. And I think one of the things I love though is like we're experiencing these this melodrama as like a downward arc, uh, at, like this just sudden nosedive, but the volatility of the melodrama is also when it upswings, right? Like, the great thing about Arthuriana is like, yeah, Acewin and Gaudar duel to the death, and then, like, but like, next year, there could be a scene, and it's like, we're now best friends. Now yeah. I love you like family. Like, the, the, there's some equally melodramatic expression of love, forgiveness, yeah. whatever, because it's all big men, big feelings. Yeah, yeah. I could I, I might want to do some kind of roles here, but it, it, it may come out to be in the next couple of years that uh you know Cotter joins the the round table after they hash it out with Arthur and they realize you know and it's like oh thanks yeah. to you 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 repaired the relationship you're like thanks dude <laughs> yeah that's me <laughs> that's yep. me I am the repairer of reputations and health that's that's yep <laughs> so, so, uh, I'm gonna go lay down <laughs> yeah <laughs> you yep. know what I mean like uh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll have to see but um. I, I definitely agree that there is there is variance for that. Uh, how'd you all feel about my GMing? Like I being in the open about how things were going. Uh, I and I mean relying being on in the open for the storytelling. Yeah, being in the open is the best way to collaborate. So yeah. that's yeah, preferable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Sometimes the dice just go down, down or down and just do a yeah. thing that's like, wait, what? <laughs> and yeah, if you know. If you're not open with it, I can't push back. And like, yeah, it's the negotiation that's the important part. And that's yeah. that's, that's exactly in, G in GMing. Yeah. yeah, it's the whole the 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 privatization yeah. the privatization of GM knowledge is something that I've always been like, why? Yeah, GM yeah. secrets. Like, why you? Because you're always explicit, not just what they're doing, but why they're doing yeah. it, and that gives us the space to negotiate our characters both response to it and our as players uh response to it as well yeah so that's why but i feel I really that. yeah but that, thank you but that's all i i do feel like i don't know how i failed to convey uh the guy's motivations uh cotter's motivations at the start on it but i'm I glad i'm glad we, we actually like, like yeah i i i understand now that it was he, there's a di there was a difference between the motivation and the incitement that you were yeah. seeing those as two different things but mm, and no. i explained for me it's like the duel is a, expressly a question and so there yeah. was the, about yeah. the incitement rather than the deeper yeah for sure yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm glad and honestly you convinced me that yeah that, that, that's the much better way of doing it so yeah so thank you I, I that's why i love playing with other gms like i i really you know yeah. and especially reasonable people like you all. It makes, yeah, it makes that could have easily been just a no screw you and yeah never right talk yeah, to each other yeah. again i mean obviously i'm going to blow you up on twitter subtweets sure. out of wazoo but sure. like, yeah. that's I'd a big yeah. 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 absolutely uh mr mr no, mr <laughs> edinburgh easy. invader uh home by christmas uh things he's yeah. a gm not gonna name Lamau. names <laughs> just just say you hate your players without saying you, you hate, hate your players, players. 
Well, um, next week we should have a guest come on, uh, which will be yes. interesting. I definitely have to think about how the f how to frame the events of this um, going forward, but that's fine. That's my problem. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we're having an extra guest come on. Um, other things I wanted to do beforehand. Uh, I don't know. Any any shout outs, y'all, before we go? Yeah, I already mentioned the footnotes yeah well okay yeah. well i, I want to <laughs> i want to shout out the book i'm reading because i was telling everyone yes. about it beforehand uh i'm reading this book called the season and it's a social history of debutantes which is like the um when girls come of age and they go to get like you know a celebration and like a, i'm marriageable now and it's all about the history of how it came out in england and like the and like, you know, why the Middle Ages, you know, when you were, uh, didn't have a lot of prospects, you just came a nun. But when you destroy all the monasteries and pillage them all for your frivolous wars in France, uh, that option's not available anymore. And what that means. And how that ended up getting translated and changed and twisted and actually even better adopted as a philosophy in America, uh, where there is not a rigid class structure, but, you know, the rich absolutely need it and want that. Uh, it's just a fascinating book. Highly recommend it if you're into cool stuff about history and context, especially the marriage of, pun intended, uh, the economics and socio-political reasons for, um, you know, culture and marriage and, and how to pass on wealth. Super interesting. It's, anyways, uh, don't take my word for it. Yeah. Thank you all for for hanging out and watching the game. And uh, Colin and uh, Jim, thank you so much for uh, you all's contr uh, contributions week over week. I love this game so much. I cannot believe how Great. fast time flies playing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for real. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Cool. All right then. Uh, five, this is yeah. a this is a good cap to dry January for me. This is a great reason for me to go downstairs and slam back some vodka nips that I've been saving. Fun, fun. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, y'all. Uh, we'll see you next week. Take care.